Well, hello there everyone. It is I, Maria Young, with yet another Orchid Adventure for you. Okay, I hope you guys are all doing super de duper de well out there and especially better than these guys right here. Oh my goodness. These are indeed eyesores of an orchid. If you guys can tell, they are really on their way out. And yeah, they, this one right here is kind of an inch away from those pearly white gates of Orchid Heaven. Yeah, this is goner, folks. And this one right here was also susceptible to all of the rains that we've been getting, all of the root rot. And I've absolutely checked this orchid. You guys know that I'm one to really not give up hope on orchids, but... You know, sometimes it is what it is, and we have to move forward, folks. So what I'm going to do today, because these are orchids that I've purchased at a store that actually offers 100% guarantee if anything happens to the plant, if it dies, you can get your money back just as long as you have the receipt, in which I keep all of my receipts just in case of these instances right here. So today that's what we're going to do. We are going to get an exchange for these two. So let's see exactly what I get today. Okay folks and here we are at the store that we're going to exchange the orchids. And these are the orchids and also the receipt as you can see. And I actually have three orchids that I'm going to be exchanging today. So we will see how that goes. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Okay, folks, and as you can see here, they've just restocked on all of their Better Grow orchids, and they all look so very healthy. Just a wide assortment of different varieties, as you can see here, folks. And again, all very, very healthy. So who knows, I may get one of these. All sorts of beautiful Cattleyas right here an assortment of different colors so hard to choose guys you guys know I love Cattleyas and they also have an assortment of potted plants as well as you can see here very very beautiful and then they have these Vandas of which I love so much but you know what they're not looking all that great of condition especially the roots so yeah not sure if i'm gonna go with one of these here okay folks and here we are again back at my garden and what did we get what did we get huh huh, huh? what did we get well i'll tell you okay folks now one of the things that i really had my eyes set on I mean, if you guys have been watching me or following me on my Facebook page, you guys know that I was indeed in search of a particular Vanda that they had, which was a maroon, kind of reddish, creamy color Vanda, and it was so beautiful. And yeah, folks, it was no longer there. It was gonzo. And I'm thinking one of those orchid shoppers had came and picked it up. Darn you, orchid shopper! But also on my Facebook page as well, there was another orchid that I told you guys I had my eye on. And I definitely was able to purchase that one. And here it is, folks, this beautiful two-toned dendrobium with a lot of twist and flair to her petals. And the color combinations on this gal is quite spectacular. As you can see, it has an alba green color and also a raspberry kind of magenta color. And on her lip as well, you're seeing that pretty magenta color. And also in her inner throat, you're seeing that nice white. So definitely beautiful color combination and one of my favorites at that. Another feature that I love about this dendrobium, of course, is all of the twist and frill that it has. The petal definitely has that windy, twisty shape that you will see throughout the blossoms and definitely just adds a nice twist to the orchid blossom. And unfortunately, folks, this beautiful gal did not come with a tag. So unfortunately, she is a UFO. 
Oh, uh, unidentified yet still very fabulous orchid, if I do say so myself. But we don't know exactly what this gal is, so if you can assist in naming this orchid, please be sure to help me out, because I think she deserves to know her name. Don't you guys? The only thing that I was very, very irked about this dendrobium right here is the fact the pot that it came with and this is actually a plastic material it's not ceramic but it's the actual pot that the plant is potted in I turned it over and I looked and folks no holes at all not even one I'm like are you guys kidding me what the phalaenopsis is going on here you guys get a thumbs up for making it a great way to rot out your orchids. Come on, folks, seriously. Okay, folks, and the next on our list in this orchid exchange hall right here are these two beautiful cattleyas, these orchids in a bag. Okay, folks, and let's just go ahead and remove them from their bags. Okay, and the first Cattleya that we will be looking at is actually a Potneria Hesinging Pink Doll. And I'm really hoping I pronounced that correctly. And if not, I apologize. I did not name her. And taking a look at what the blossom should look like, you are noticing a very, very light pink at the outer rim of her petals here. Also, you're noticing in the center a pristine white and somewhat of a yellowish cream right in the center, almost a line. Also, you are noticing on her frilly lip that there is a darker magenta, almost reddish. And on the inner throat here, you're also noticing a yellow right there. Again, the petals are very frilly. All of that frill on this gal makes her so beautiful. And if you check on the outer petals right here also, you are noticing that nice, faint green as well on those petals. Very beautiful in color and folks this makes her so beautiful in her coloration and also the big beautiful shape of her blossom. Definitely a nice looker right here. And if we take a look at her leaves right here she definitely looks very very healthy. Quite a nice size on this gal very light green and also if you take a look right here you are noticing that she is in sheath so definitely fingers crossed that maybe we can get a bloom from her before the winter season comes also you're noticing this right here which is a new growth and if you look within down here you're also noticing some new growth and some nice roots as well so definitely she is a healthy gal happy happy with this beautiful beauty and the next on our list is a blc saint catherine's creek kasai and taking a look at the image of this particular cat Leia right here this actually reminds me of what a traditional vision of what a cat Leia form would definitely look like now if you look at the color of the petals and the sepals you are noticing a very light lavender color now going down to the lip area right here it is very frilly a lot of little curves right here and it almost kind of comes together in a round shape now in the inner part of the lip right here is a very rich deep purplish color very very beautiful and as we go into the inner throat part you are noticing that canary yellow again very traditional but very very glamorous is this cattleya right here and taking a look at the actual plant itself you are noticing these very huge foliage that it has right here it is very very healthy as you guys can see and also we can take a look at the root area and you're noticing a lot of root growth and you're also noticing a lot of new growth at the very base as well so definitely this is one healthy gal and indeed we will be anticipating on future blooms with that being said that brings our orchid exchange hall to a close and as i have stated i am pleasantly delighted with this orchid hall right here 
And folks, again, especially for the newcomers, if you want to go to some of these orchid centers or orchid stores that actually offer this 100% back guarantee that if anything happens to your orchid within a year's time, just as long as you have the receipt, you are capable of either getting your money back or exchanging your orchid. So definitely a great safety blanket for you and definitely a great opportunity to test out your skills without any worry about your orchids or at least losing your orchids and being empty handed. So folks, again, this is one of the greatest benefits of this type of warranty. And if you guys have it available to you guys, I would suggest definitely take advantage of it. Now, this has been Maria Young reporting live from My Garden Paradise. And again, I thank you so much for tuning in to yet another orchid adventure. And if you guys like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you guys want to see more videos such as this, please be sure to subscribe. Also, if you want to follow me on my Facebook channel, please be sure to do that as well at My Orchid Adventures. And also, folks, if you want to contact me via snail mail, you can always do that also. And you can see the actual address right here. That's it, folks. And I thank you so much for tuning in. And as always, happy, beautiful Orchid Day. And I love you all. Bye-bye.